completes it to Smith-Schuster. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Haskins will throw. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And yet again, Haskins is intercepted third time. Picked off by Khalil Mack. Pass the 20. Nothing left, baby. Nothing and they left. will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And the return will stop right around the 25. Now a first down throw, Fields. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Marquise Goodwin there to make the grab. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Santos with the extra point and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And he'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up past the 40-yard line. Even after that big-time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Throwing again on second down. Haskins. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. There it is. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. To throw again on second down, Haskins. And He's taken down, back at his own seven. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. 
So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll try and throw forward with Haskins. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to There he goes, right side. <laughs> this is my moment. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown.